Uh, new family of graphs. These are the exponential graphs. The good news is that the exponent family always looks very similar. They, uh, they look like this. Y equals A to the X power, where A can be basically any number. Um, normally, we, we look at the exponents that have like 2 or 3 or 4 or something. Now, I'm going to take 2 to the x power, and we're going to make a little table just to, to see how it works. We're going to do y equals 2 to the x, and we're going to make that graph. And I'm going to pick some x values, like negative uh, 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and 3. Now, you, you're probably, you probably forgot what happens when you take negative exponents. You guys remember that they turn the fraction over? It's a fraction. Remember that? Okay. Negative exponents are fractions. Um, whenever you see a negative exponent, it's in the denominator. So I'm going to look at these first. Anybody remember what 2 to the 0 is? 0. 1. 1. Yeah, it's 1. Anything to the 0 power is always 1. If this had been a 3 to the 0 power, it's 1. If it's 5 to the 0 power, it's 1. So all exponentials basically go through the 0, 1 section. Now I'm going to take 2 to the first power. What's 2 to the first? 2. So 1, x equal to 1, gives me 2. 2, right there. 2 to the second power? 3. 4. four. 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 2 times 2 is 4. 6. And then 2 to the third power is 8. 2 times 2 times 2 oh, God. Oh, is 8. Oh. By the way, what's the next one going to be? 16. It won't fit on your graph, but it just it's going to go up to 4, one, uh, 3, sorry, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You see how close it looks like the curve for the parabola? Yes. It looks very close to the parabola curve. Uh, if it were 3, it would be just a little bit steeper. And it would still go through 0, 1, but then it would just be a little bit steeper. If it was 4, it would be a little bit steeper, 5, a little bit steeper, and so on. Now the tricky part is understanding what happens at the negatives. Negative 1 is 1 over 2. Because a negative exponent makes it a reciprocal. You see, if I write this, it means this. That's what a negative exponent does. It puts it in the it puts it in the denominator. So this is one half. So it's right there. We see where it's at. It's right there in between. Now, if I take two to the negative two, it means one fourth because it's two. It's over two squared. So that's one fourth, and it's right there. If I go to the negative 3, it's 1 8th. If I go to negative 4, it's 1 16th. It just keeps getting closer and closer and closer to 0. In fact, it gets so close, you can't even hardly tell them apart. And then this one goes up like so. It's called an exponential graph. Now, we can also move exponential graphs around. I can do this. I'm going to actually do, um, I'm going to do 2 to the x in a different location. Let's do 2 to the x minus 3 plus 5. So all that's going to happen is I'm going to move this graph somewhere else. Got it? Now, I don't have a vertex. What I'm going to do, and this is, this is one that's really hard to get, I'm going to think of this as if I'm moving the zero to a new location. So instead of my zero being right here at zero, zero, like in this one, my new zero is going to be at the three, five. So I'm going to go to three, five.
And it's as if I drew a whole new axis there. Show you what I mean. And then we draw the same graph? Yes, but remember that it's as if you have this right here. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw the exact same graph in this new location. Remember that 2 to the x goes through 0, 1? Yeah. And it gets really steep up here and then gets really close over here. Do you all see that instead of moving the graph itself, I just move the origin? That's why exponentials are kind of hard to draw. See one more? By the way, let me show you what happens if I do this. Can you all visualize what happens if I stick a negative in front of this thing? We do the graph under the x axis. Yeah. It just reflects it down, doesn't it? Yeah. So if I graph this one, it's still going to have that same 3, 5, but it's going to be here instead. This is going to get closer and closer, and this guy is going to go up here. These are called exponential graphs. Got it? Okay. The next part is going to be hard to understand, so I'm going to try and make it as clear as I can in a couple of different ways. I'm going to do this two different ways. I'm going to graph this one using um, using numbers for x. I'm just going to make a little table here. exponential correct curves is it goes down and gets closer and closer and closer to the x-axis and on this side it curves up just like this one used to curve up on this side and down on this side. Got it? Yeah. Okay, now another way of thinking of the same thing. Let me show you something. This is the same as this. What? What's the what? Uh, this, this right here, this 1 half to the x power, is the same as 2 to the negative x power. Think about what 2 to the negative x does. It changes the signs of my x's, doesn't it? So my positive x's now are fractions, and my negative x's are up. And what it does is you take 2 to the x, and when I take it to the negative, doesn't it reflect it this way? 